Team Rubicon started as eight veterans helping survivors of the 2010 earthquake in Haiti. Well, now it's grown to over 150,000 volunteers. As News 19's Joe Minnie explains, Team Rubicon is now in Sparta supporting Fort McCoy and the Afghan refugees. So tell me a little more about it. Well, Heather, for the past 20 years, many Afghan citizens helped the U.S. forces in their home country, and now those vets want to return the favor because vets who served in Afghanistan know firsthand what kind of support these allies gave. And now in their moment of crisis, they need to help, or they need help, and for those currently at Fort McCoy, they need supplies. And many Afghan refugees are only left with the clothes on their back, so Team Rubicon is working to provide new clothes. But they are in need of donations, and volunteers are processing the donations at the Wisconsin Army National Guard facility in Sparta, and then they're distributing them at Fort McCoy. And that's where having vets on the team is very crucial. We were able to leverage their military skills. Uh, perfect example here with Fort McCoy and the operation. Um, the logistics behind what we're doing, the role we're serving, is, is, is huge and paramount to the success of the Afghan families coming here and being resettled and, and going on to their next chapter. Now Rubicon is also asking that clothing donations should be conservative to respect the Afghan culture. And Heather, Rubicon is also hoping area charities and organizations can help coordinate clothing drives. And all donations can be dropped off at the Sparta Army National Guard facility. Okay, thank you, Joe. Now, if you'd like more information on how to donate and again, what to donate, or if you can volunteer, find this story on our website, wxow.com.